All right. Hi, hey, everyone. Hey, everyone. This is uh, Ledwin Flores and I'm Margie. So we are from Keller Williams Realty in DFW South Lake area. Mm -hmm. You know, DFW Metroplex serving your home buying needs for the past four plus years now. Yep. And we have here our friend and preferred lender, Sergio Moreno. Okay. Sergio. Hey, Sergio. Hey, Sergio. Hey, everybody. All right. Thanks for uh, meeting up with us and giving us all of this education regarding um, home buying uh, purchases, especially with this whole crazy COVID-19 quarantine stuff. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are and. Yeah, you know. sure. So Sergio Moreno, um, I've been in the business for about nine years now uh, with Supreme Lending uh, based in Colleyville and uh, been helping people um, for about nine years all over the DFW area. So. Looking forward to the uh, interview with you guys. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time uh, away from your, I'm sure, busy more Saturday morning. Uh, we know that. Uh, so one thing in which uh, most people probably won't know, so with, between us and um, Sergio, we will at least soon, congratulations, by the way, and the baby on the way. Uh, nine, be 10 kids. 10 kids between Man. us. Okay, so... <laughs> Yeah, we're kind of busy, right? <laughs> Almost a football team. Almost a football team. Okay, Almost a football team. So um, so anyways, what we want, kind of wanted to ask you, Sergio, so what has changed, if anything, when it comes to home purchasing with this COVID-19? Okay, let's break it down first to, let's break it down and start, let's talk about the uh, individuals that are requiring down payment assistance. How has that changed? Uh, well, with down payment assistance, um, a lot of the state programs have changed their guidelines. Um, some of the programs have been paused temporarily. Yep. Um, they've also changed their credit score requirement, um, debt to income ratio requirements. Um, so it's gotten a lot tighter uh, as far as qualifying with those types of programs because of, uh, you know, the economy is definitely affecting the mortgage industry as well. Yep. So this just right off the bat, um, what changes we've seen with debt to income ratios, credit score requirements, and some programs have been temporarily paused. Okay, okay. Well, you know, that's good to know. I mean, it's, at least it's been temporarily paused and not completely eliminated. Right. Um, you know, we don't know exactly how long this whole, you know, quarantine or economic hit may take in place. Uh, but there is obviously still hopes and the government is trying to do their best to help the situation, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the government's working with a lot of servicers to still be able to service these types of loans. Um, you know, uh, there's also different ways of still trying to be creative and making deals work for customers that have little down payment to no down payment. Uh, working with agents like yourself, um, you know, getting a seller concession back, working with the seller uh, as home prices are kind of leveling out. It, it can actually work a little bit better for the client as well. So, yeah. I mean, there's different ways of being creative that we can work together for the client to help them out. Cool. cool. That sounds good. So if I were a buyer, I'd definitely be wanting to look up yeah. someone like Sergio that can be creative in how to get me a loan and how to get me the financing that I need. Right. So uh, let's let's go and switch gears a little bit. So we're, we're talking about down payment assistance. What about the conventional loans? Have, has any of that stuff kind of changed? Give us like the 10,000 foot overview regarding that. Uh, as far as conventional, those are pretty still the same. Uh, there hasn't been any changes to that. That's still a minimum of, you know, uh, 620 credit score um, when we're talking about a non-jumbo loan, which is below 510,000. Um, those are still the same. Anything over 510,000, those products have been limited by servicers. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of those programs have been on pause. But overall, generally, you know, conventional hasn't taken a lot of hits, which is great. It's okay. still rolling. Good, good. So um, conventional, we're still kind of sailing the way that we are normally sailing. Uh, FHA programs, okay, th those have those been uh, affected in any way? Yeah, so FHA, USDA, and VA, um, a lot of the government type loans, um, those credit score requirements have changed by a lot of servicers at 640. Okay. So they have increased. Okay. So since you mentioned uh, credit score, so you know, there's a lot of myths going out there right now that, um, well, I think this is not just because of this. Uh, this has been since credit scores have been established, right? 
Right. What's a good resource in, in your experience that uh, individual like buyers can look at to determine approximately what their credit score would be? I, I think a lot of customers already have like Credit Karma, Experian. They have a lot of those apps already, and those are all pretty similar credit scores. Um, you know, whenever we pull as a mortgage company a credit score, um, it's going to, the numbers are not going to match. It's, it's based off a different criteria that gives you a credit score for a mortgage company. So uh, as far as a score, I mean, it's, it's just a good pinpoint for, for them to look at, you know, credit karma and we can, I mean, kind of estimate what the score is from that point. It's just kind of hard to tell, um, uh, unless we actually pull their credit report to know what their mortgage credit score is actually is. So, so what you're saying is let the professionals determine this information and not try to figure it out on your own. Let the professionals take care. We'll help you out. There's no charge for us to pull your credit. So it's, it's good that we go over that for okay. you guys. Okay, good, good. Yeah, guys, it's free. It's free information, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. let's, let's figure this thing out together. Absolutely. By the professionals, right? Okay. So I wanted to start the, the, the home buyer's process. Okay, yeah. So how would a buyer start process today? Well, very good question. Thank you, my darling. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen here um, for a moment. Okay, and so this is something which uh, Lettering Group over here, you know, i.e. us, has established as a simple roadmap for you as a buyer. Now, Sergio would be there, okay? We're going to get to him in a moment where he stands in play. Um, so there's the typical conforming way of the process is step one, you meet with a professional. Okay, so you're going to meet with us, either myself or my beautiful bride over here. You're going to meet with us so that way we can kind of discuss and go over what your dreams, your goals, your uh, desires will be, okay, and criteria. After that, we kind of set up an initial plan so that way we can get you in contact with Sergio, okay? Now, I'm, I'm a numbers guy. I understand a lot of when it comes to investment, financing, all that stuff, but... I will always lean towards the professionals and leverage someone like Sergio and Supreme Lending to make sure that you get the top-notch professional accurate information and not let Google, okay, tell you what you think you should know, right? So Sergio, so if someone, a new client were to come up and have an initial conversation with you, what's the type of information that they would need to, to give you or provide or bring along with them? Um, well, I mean, generally, uh, as far as basic information we need, uh, if they're bringing documents with them is, uh, you know, their most recent 30 days pay stub, you know, their last two years W-2, copy of their ID to verify their identity of who I'm speaking with, um, you know, and any tax returns if they're self-employed. I mean, that's generally the information we need. Um, mm -hmm. But initially, when we first talk to the client, um, some customers are not ready to take that step just yet. Uh, we want to just discuss what their goals are, what their plans are, where they're at currently, uh, what their budget is, some of the things that you're going to talk about here. Um, mm -hmm. So we're all on the same page. So they don't feel rushed. You know, we're not rushing them. We're not pressuring them. And they understand the full process of buying a home and how it can benefit them. So yeah. we really, really try to work on that, establishing that, that connection with them. Good. Now, throughout the entire information gathering, do you have to be with them with, uh, during that time? Um, no, we don't have to be with them. I mean, we can meet with them uh, like this on a Zoom meeting, uh, video conference. We can meet in the office, but probably right now because of the corona. But, of course. Uh, of course. <laughs> um, or, you know, if, if neither of those things work for them, we can talk over the phone and discuss those options with them. Good. But I might call away or email away from them asking any questions. Yeah, good. good. So it's, uh, it can all be done virtually. Um, there's no need in the event that any individual uh, wants to protect themselves and not have to go out or, um, you know, meet with an individual. We can definitely facilitate our, as well uh, our interview process uh, and meeting with an agent like ourselves uh, via Zoom, Skype, Google Hangouts, whatever, or even over the phone. Okay. So we all have that virtual 
buying experience, if you will, because uh, that's going to be the new norm, guys. I mean, there's no way around it with this uh, pandemic that's going around. We are needing to create different innovative ways to make sure we're able to help you and facilitate this roadmap in a way that we're all safe. So let's, uh, so let's fast forward the whole process, let's say, for, for people's sake. So they've given you all their pay stubs, their W-2s, their bank statements. They've shown you what their sort of budget would be. What do you do then? Um, at that point, we'll, we'll do an application for them, um, complete it to figure out what their purchasing power is. And, and also kind of touch back what you were talking about earlier. It's so important for us to meet with them either uh, to have that face-to-face -face, if at all possible, uh, because this is the biggest financial transaction they're going to make in their life. And they don't want to just talk to somebody they don't see in person or in, in the video. Uh, they want to be able to know who they're trusting to help them through this process. Of course. So that's so important, exactly what you're, what you're referring to. Okay. Uh, but once we get that information going and establish the budget, we'll take an uh, application to figure out their purchasing power. Uh, we'll check their credit, their income, uh, their assets. Um, and that'll help us establish exactly what type of payment they can afford and um, you know, walk them through that process as well. Okay, so I'm glad you mentioned that, you know, that term, what they can afford. So when these, uh, when you do the analysis, okay, and establishing a budget, do they, do they quantify our daily budget, for example, our, our needs now of internet bill, subscriptions, gym memberships, all these things that we tack on to ourselves and our personal budgets, is that also established regarding the mortgage budget? Um, that part is not as far as a uh, qualifying with the underwriter to approval, to get yeah. them approved. You know, they're not gonna look at, you know, your Netflix bill, your cell phone, cell phone bill. Uh, they won't look at all, or grocery bill. But that is important for you to, to count towards your budget of, uh, all your daily expenses because when you buy a home you know you might have to cut your grass you might have some HOA fees homeowners association um, you know some of those things yeah. to keep in mind but when we're looking at strictly at qualifying for the loan it's really what's on your credit report uh, that we're using against the income that we verify okay Okay. And, and that's a really good thing. And the reason why I mentioned that is that, you know, we've already had experience with a couple of buyers, a couple of clients where, um, you know, we, we want to make sure that we're, we're not out there trying to max out your budget. That's not the plan. We don't want to get that phone call a year from now to say, Hey, uh, you know, let group, um, I love this house, but unfortunately I can't afford it anymore because, you know, life happens. Okay. Right. Um, or, you know, I decided to do, uh, to up my personal budget and it just turned out that I can't afford it. So we also take that in mind regarding the establishing budget. And we kind of let you guys know, I mean, we're, we're kind of like that uh, individual that even though it may be the truth and a hard truth, but we need to tell you that truth because we don't want to have those conversations afterwards. Okay. So that's very important to us to, uh, to make sure that we serve you guys in the best and highest possible way uh, with this process. So now let's just say, okay, great. We'll fast forward a little bit more. Sergio says, hey, we're, we, you know, we're, ready to go. we're ready to go. Green light. Green Here's green. the pre-approval or the pre-qualification letter. And we'll talk about those details on a later time. But, well, you know what that means. But the search is on. Okay. So now we're establishing our search. Now this is where the fun begins, okay? We get to start dreaming, which we get to start looking at options, okay? Mm -hmm. Things in which we didn't even have before. So we will definitely establish with Sergio, okay, what your budget will look like, okay? What it should look like versus what um, what's out there in the market, okay? Mm -hmm. Now with this uh, pandemic and, and COVID-19, you know, things are gonna change a little bit. Okay, in terms of looking at property, we're offering now to all of our clients uh, the ability and the option to do virtual showings. Mm -hmm. So what that means to you is in the event that you feel that, you know what, I, I, I love this home, but I want to protect myself. I want to protect my family. Well, we will take it upon ourselves to make sure that we're completely covered, you know, gloves, sanitizers, Lysol, I mean, you name it. Okay. Uh, and we will go. We will go and mm -hmm. we will conference you uh, via FaceTime, Zoom, whatever uh, you're comfortable with, and show you the home virtually. Okay. 
So if you tell us, hey, look, can we take a look at the kitchen, things like that, you know, the pictures do homes justice, but there's nothing uh, that uh, can basically take its place of actually walking through the property. And so we're gonna take it a little bit step further than pictures or videos and actually walk it with you at the property at, in the comfort of your home. Mm -hmm. And let's say you fall in love with the home. Then, um, oh, let me backtrack. Another way of looking for homes, uh, what are the two biggest sources of homes that people look at? Realtor and Zillow. Yeah. So Realtor and Zillow are great ways of finding homes. Unfortunately though, they do not get updated as quickly. So a home will be uploaded from the MLS into Zoom and Realtor, like within less than 24 hours, yeah. it'll be up. But let's say a house goes under contract, it can take up to a week or two for that information to actually get populated into Zillow or Realtor. So if you're on a time crunch and needing to buy a home fast, those are not the best options to look at homes yeah. through because most of the homes that sometimes our, our buyers send us from Zillow and Realtor and they're like, oh, we really want this house. Then um, they send it to us, we look it up and it's already under contract. So it can be a little bit of lost and wasted time there. So we um, send you our app. We have a K uh, Keller Williams app yeah. that we can send you. And that one has the most up-to-date information. It gets updated directly from the MLS. So if a house goes under contract, it's going to show up on the app. Yeah. So you're so, not wasting any time. So our information, as long as Sergio's information, is going to be in the bottom over here well, where you can direct message us, you can contact us, call us, text us. We can definitely share the information with you. A simple app, simple application, Sergio, right? Uh, where they can go online and fill out all the information to begin this entire process. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to fast forward a little I'll, bit. I'll do wanna, I want to chime in too a little bit. I think that it's important for people to know the big difference is with doing a transaction with Realtor or Zillow is it's the service that's important. You know, a lot of times people care about service, you know, and they get, they compromise with speed and there's so many things that get left out on a lot of times with things right. that are not in included with that with Realtor and uh, either Zillow or any other apps. But service is so important. If you have somebody who actually has your corner, who's actually trying to build a lifelong client, not just, get your home closed and move on and leave you to yourself. But somebody like you guys who's going to follow up, remind them about their homestead exemption, you know, keep up what's going on with their family, anything you need, maybe anything I can pray for you about as well. Yeah. So that's so more, that's more important than a lot of these uh, companies that are offering their services. They're, they're going to get way more service from, uh, uh, from you guys in that case. Oh yeah, we oh, definitely yeah. become friends with our clients. <laughs> oh yeah, we definitely, you'll you be getting it every single year, or a couple of times a year, little birthday cards, little, uh, cards. little reminders of you're not forgotten. So there you go. So, okay. So once we kind of go, let's just say, you know, we've seen the property, you know, we make an offer. Uh, what, okay. So Sergio, in your experience, uh, you know, we're working with us, how many, like we've often looked at a home, looked at the numbers have you had the need to verify any of the information for a buyer before making an offer can you clarify so, is, so let's say for example you know we set an established budget of two hundred fifty thousand dollars they're taking they're looking at a home and they kind of want to curious to see what the payment will look like on that particular home can they afford it can you verify that information before we make the offer to make sure that they can afford it? Yeah, absolutely. So that's part of the application process we go through. Uh, we're looking at you know their W-2s, pay stubs, bank statements. Um, we're gonna make sure that they're eligible for it. Uh, they're comfortable with the payment and the underwriter okays everything. Mm -hmm. um, so we try to have as smooth a, as a process for them. So all they have to worry about is getting ready to move and transition the family maybe for school like that if they have any kids in school okay good good because we want to make sure that you know as, as we run through this process you know we we verify the information and make sure that yeah you know what we're not um we're not just going through the motions here and hoping that you can afford it we verify even before if need be the offer is placed okay so we, we fast forward the offer Okay, we go through negotiation, we go through the entire process. So talk to us a little bit about the process between 
negotiations on the contract and closing. What should a buyer expect throughout that 30, 45, depending on the file, right? What, did, what should they expect from you? During the whole process of the transaction? From, yeah, mm -hmm. like yeah. You know, from, from contract to close. Absolutely. So once they have a contract, we'll discuss the uh, actual current rates at that time. A customer can actually lock in an interest rate ahead of time before they actually find a, a contract. Uh, we have to look at the numbers to see if it's worth it uh, because sometimes it can be very, pretty expensive to lock in an interest rate before you actually have a contract. Uh, but majority of the time, we're looking to lock in the interest rate during that time. We're going to close you within 30 to 45 days, depending on the contract. Uh, we'll go back and um, send you some disclosures to sign of the numbers we discussed, uh, the new property address. It'll have a list of the breakdown of your estimated fees. Uh, we'll update you weekly, our team, uh, what's going on with the process, where you're at with underwriting and processing. Uh, we're ordering title work. Uh, we're ordering the appraisal. Um, as long as the home gets inspected and is good to go by you and your agent. Um, so we're doing a lot of stuff in the background. And what we're doing for the client is just updating them weekly on where they're at, what to expect next week. Mm -hmm. And we prepare them and lead up into closing. And I mean, right before closing, uh, probably three days before, we'll send out a CD with your, uh, with your final numbers of uh, what you need to bring to close at that time. And uh, we'll break it down for them and, and give them that expectation and work with their title company and the agent to set up the closing time as well. Right. And so when you, when you mentioned CD, right, we're, we're not sending a music, right? We're, we're not, not sending a music. <laughs> no. The MP3. We're, we're, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're not sending you like, oh, like welcome home, you know, Frank, not, you know, Frank Sinatra mm -hmm. stuff. No, see, uh, the closing disclosure, uh, a couple of days before making sure all the numbers uh, line up and everything is balanced, correct? That's correct. Yeah, yeah so we, we'll make sure all those numbers are good to go for them. I know. We, we talk real estate lingo all the time and <laughs> a couple of terms that like, you know, like acronyms or whatever and like, huh, am I, am I supposed to get a CD? Like they're expecting something in the mail, right? right. So. Uh, all right, so we are funded, we are closed, papers are signed. What's the next step? You get your keys. And after that, you live happily ever after. The, well, at least that's the objective, that's the idea, right? So, um, you know, along that whole process between meeting, you know, establishing the, the plan, establishing the financials, you know, we're, we're talking about anywhere in a fast paced market, if you're good to go ready, like right now, everything is you have credit score, finances, all that stuff, it can take anywhere between 30 and 45 days. Now, does that happen often that somebody is ready, available, and in, my, in our experience, yeah. not always, okay? So Sergio, if you can kind of like give like a brief overview What's a typical time frame that a buyer should establish before beginning the process, okay, of either financing, credit, like how long does a typical client buyer take before they actually get keys in hand? Are you, uh, are you referring to as far as when the client is ready, when should they actually start the process to buy or? Yeah, so for example, like, you know, credit score repair if need be. You know, how long does that, on average, how long does that normally take place? Um, you know, we work with a lot of good, reputable companies that we've had uh, previous clients work with. And, uh, you know, nothing is ever 100%. Nope, don't ever, anybody ever tell you everything's 100%. They remove everything because that's not true. Uh, it really depends on your credit and what's on there and how long that item's been on there. But, I mean, typically we've seen people come out of credit um, restoration about four months. Okay. Um, and, and anybody looking to purchase a home, uh, it's a good idea to at least start two to three months before so we can try to tackle any issues that you have and get ahead so you're ready. So, you know, when you do find that home you love, you're ready to go. You're not waiting. Oh, I need to get pre-approved. Oh, I need to fix my credit. You know, a lot of times people wait until that house and they're starting ready to buy a house. Well, you know, we, we could have started that process maybe a few months ago. You would have been ready. Right would have helped them a lot. So that's very important. Good, good. Yeah, I think that's something very important to highlight. A lot of people think that they can just jump right into it. Mm. Right. Or they think that, oh, I'm gonna do it after my birthday or after the New Year's when things calm down. And they think that they'll just hit the road running, but it actually takes a little bit of preparation sometimes. Yeah, and, it, and it's important too. And I think it's very important to know that 
when you're starting early, you're not being anxious. Mm -hmm. And when you're anxious, you, you end up making a lot of mistakes and making bad choices and you can end up regretting it. So it's so important to, to take your time and start the process early. So you have time to think, to process, to know, okay, is this actually my budget? And, and what if things change in your family in the next few months between you buy that house? So things always work themselves out when you're not anxious and they end up working in your favor. So that's always a great thing. Yeah. And if you can tell, Sergio is a very calming person and calming voice. Yeah. So yeah. he will definitely help you. <laughs> yeah. Five kids. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Five and the sixth one on the way. Oh, so one thing I wanted to mention as well, which I'm sorry, I apologize. We also, both Sergio and ourselves, we're also bilingual. We're uh, mm -hmm. If you are in need of know anybody that needs a Spanish speaking agent or a lender, uh, we are your team. Okay, mm -hmm. we are definitely your team to um, you know be able to facilitate and make sure that all of the transaction is as clear, uh, translated, and concise as possible. So we want to make sure that we um, throw that in there now. Uh, you've seen us kind of do the buyer's guide, okay? You kind of seen this little preview. Uh, this is like a little informational pamphlet for um, all of you guys that are wanting a little bit more information, a little bit more detailed information about who we are, what that process looked like. You only got to uh, sneak peek of one page uh, of our guide. We also have something for you sellers, okay, because sometimes you need to sell a home in order to purchase a home, okay? So we also have a selling guide for you guys to kind of detail what we do regarding selling a home. If you guys are in need of uh, more information, please remember contact us, direct message us, text us, call us, email us. If you are adventurous enough, you can sky write it in the sky, not today because it's mm -hmm. cloudy. Right. And we will get to you Throw the bat signal, the KW. Okay. And we will get with you as soon as we can. It's true though. It's true. Um, so I, Sergio, thank you so much for uh, taking time of your morning. Okay. I know you are a busy man with all the kids um, just like us. I appreciate you. Uh, success uh, in everything that you do. If you guys have any questions, you want to directly contact Sergio. Again, his information will be at the bottom. All right. Anything uh, yeah. No, that's it. Just we look forward to serving all of you with all your buying needs, with all your selling needs, and we will be partnering you with Sergio. He will help you along the way. Sergio, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Great talking. Anything else you want to uh, before we, uh, you know, say good night, say goodbye? No, good night, goodbye. Depends on the time zone, right? Yeah, watching. it depends on the time zone. Right. Hello, for people that are over there in Australia. Hello, it's right. next Tuesday. Yeah, no, I mean, we, we just pray that this uh, virus ends very soon. And, uh, yes. you know, it's a lot of positive, good things have come from the virus of uh, connecting with people that we, we could have, should have been doing those little things all along. And, I mean, there's always a positive and something negative, and that's what you want to try to look at. Mm -hmm. So we just look forward to helping people and teaming up and making this a great experience for people and, uh, you know, help them enjoy the whole process, the ride along the way. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, on that note, appreciate you. Thank you so much. Okay, mm -hmm. looking forward to working with you guys. And if you need more information, a little bit more detailed, tailored information, please contact us. Okay. Take care, Bye. guys. Enjoy. Bye.